Hello everyone, today we're going to get into um, section double A, systems of linear equations in IXL's 8th grade math. Uh, starting off with skill 1, is the point xy a solution to a system of equations? I've got four examples for you here. First off, is the point 26 a solution to this system of equations? So we're given two equations, they're written in standard form, and a point is a solution to a system if it works in both equations. And when I say works in, I mean solves. So here's my first equation. Uh, 5x plus y equals 16. And I'm going to plug the point 26 into the equation, um, replacing x with 2 and y with 6. Then I'll do some multiplication here. 5 times 2 is 10. And of course, 10 plus 6 is 16. All right, here's my second equation, because it's got to work in both. Just because it worked in the first one doesn't mean uh, it's a solution to the system. 2x plus 2y equals 16. Replacing x with 2 and y with 6. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 6 is 12, and 4 plus 12 is 16. So since this point solves both equations, or is a solution to both equations, that makes it a solution to the system of equations. Here's another point, negative 2, 2, and another system. Um, these equations are written in slope-intercept form. Here's the first one, y equals negative x minus 5, and we're going to replace x um, with negative 2 and y with negative 2, because that's the point we're checking. Tough to mix those up since they're the same value. That's nice. We're not going to mess that part up. Um, so negative, negative 2 minus 5. Well, negative negative 2 is like the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2 minus 5. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3, not negative 2. So since this is a false statement, negative 2 actually doesn't equal negative 3. We don't even need to check the second equation. We can just say now that negative 2, negative 2 is not a solution to this system of equations. Example number three, is negative nine seven a solution to this system of equations, okay? All right, well, here's my first equation. I'm gonna type in or substitute in negative nine for x and seven for y. I've gotta multiply a couple times. 15 times negative nine is negative 135. 19 times seven is 133. And when you add those together, you get negative two. Um, which is what the right side of the equation is too. So that point works in the first equation. Now we have to check it and make sure it is a solution to the second equation. 6x minus 5y equals 12. Replacing x with negative 9, y with 7. Multiplying, 6 times negative 9 is negative 54, and negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. But when we subtract 35 from negative 54, we don't get 12. So... Uh, it worked, the point nine, negative 9, 7 in the first equation, but not in the second equation. So negative 9, 7 is not a solution to this system of equations. Last one here, 1, negative 2. Is it a solution to this system of equations? That first equation looks a little weird, x equals 1. Um, that's a vertical line at 1. So... You know, people get confused because they don't know what to do with the negative 2. That's our value of y. There's no place to plug it in because there's no y value. Exactly. There's zero y values, so we won't even worry about it. We'll just plug 1 in uh, for x. And, of course, 1 does equal 1. So it does actually, the point, work in the first equation. Here's my second equation. y equals x minus 3. We'll substitute negative 2 in for y and 1 in for x. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so this point does work in both equations, and that's why we can say that 1 negative 2 is a solution to this system. So that's all I've got for you here over um, skill 1 of section AA in 8th grade math, systems of linear equations.